Okay, I'm going to do a quick summary of the um, U21 performance exhaust option for the CLA and GLA. Um, just to go through it and uh, sort of give an electrical explanation, although I am not, not an electrical engineer, I am a mechanical engineer, and the mechanical explanation will come maybe in a later video. Uh, just a, so a quick rundown, what we have is a, um, a circuit diagram, very simple circuit, circuit diagram. I have a battery or, or the computer of the, your vehicle, of the uh, GLA, uh, CLA or the ECU, which is represented here. And then I have the valve in your exhaust system, which opens and closes uh, depending on a voltage that's, that's applied to it. Okay, so if it is... If the valve is open like that, um, what we know so far is there is zero volts applied because I have seen people take off their connection to the valve, which means that no voltage is applied and it is an open uh, valve, okay? And I also, which means that there has to be a, to close the valve, there must be a voltage that is applied to close the valve, okay? So when it's closed, there's some voltage applied to close the valve, which then prevents the air from going through the system and uh, does not uh, allow for the exhaust to be amplified or uh, to become louder, okay? So again, we have just a simple system of uh, voltage being applied uh, to open or close the valve in your exhaust. So it's pretty simple. And then what you're gonna have is you have, at least on my vehicle, I have a button on the dash where I push it and it turns red, okay? When it turns red, okay, um, that, tells the computer to control the valve, right? Okay, so if, it, if it's on, then we have computer. If it's off, then we have to have some voltage applied to close it. Um, I'm just gonna say, some nominal voltage, uh, it's probably not 12, probably something like five volts. Okay. And then it's closed. Okay. Pretty simple. Um, I'm gonna stop it there and then move on to the next video. Okay, that previous video explained the uh, function of the, uh, and how it works, the uh, performance exhaust and the valve. I'm going to talk a little bit now about uh, what I'm going to do, what my objective is, and how other uh, companies control that valve, okay? I know Rentec has a system where they unplug the connection to the valve and provide a different connection. They provide a cable or wire that connects from here that goes to here and also goes into the other end, okay? And basically that must, I have not checked the insides of it, but it's, it must just be a simple switch, okay? And I know it works on a, the radio, or the uh, radio frequency, whatever, the, uh, the key fob to open and close that connection. Um, I, really not fond of using a key fob. I'd rather have a connection in the car, um, somewhere in a button or knob to be able to do that, but that's, that's how they do it. And uh, I don't know, it's about $600, pretty expensive. And then they also have some receiver down here that you have to tuck up under the, um, uh, in your exhaust somewhere. Okay, what I wanna do is something similar. I want to do something similar. I want to break that connection here, but what I want to do then is bring in my own wires. So I'm going to connect from here to here. So break that connection, bring that connection back into the vehicle. I'm somewhere near the dash and provide a toggle switch. Okay. 
so I can turn that on and off. So if I have it in the open position, if it's open, zero volts, I will have an open valve and I will have exhaust that I want to hear by myself. Uh, but if I then close that, then I have the e either the option of Again, backing up. If it's open, that overrides any of the um, uh, buttons that I have on my dash current existing buttons for the performance exhaust. Because if this is open, it's going to this valve is always going to be open. Okay. Now, if I close that, then I can control it with. I still have control over here with my button in the dash. If it's on and illuminated, the computer will control this valve, just like it normally works when it's on or I could turn it off and then it'll stay closed or the, uh, the circuit will stay closed but the, um, the voltage will be applied like we talked about and keep the valve closed, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm working on getting the system set up, uh, acquiring all the parts to do that. So look forward to my future videos to do that. Uh, it's basically gonna be on almost no cost option to, to control your performance exhaust on your CLA, GLA, and maybe others, AMGs. Good luck. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I've got the uh, um, performance valve and the exhaust disconnected. Well, it's connected, but it's on my front seat. It's just sitting at idle here. It's warmed up. Open valve, closed valve. You can see 12 volts. Um, let's try and take it for a drive and see what happens. Okay, we're sitting here in idle. The car is warmed up. The Exhaust valve is currently open, indicated by the 12 volts. I put it in neutral, it stays open, put it in reverse, stays open, put it in neutral, give it some gas, stays open. Drive. Just slowly accelerate or slowly go. And you see that it closed because it's down, down below one. We stop again and it'll open up. Go again and it closes. And we are currently in comfort mode. Let's do the same thing in Sport Plus. Or Sport. Let's put it as Sport Plus, see what happens. Interesting. It's now closed. I mean, the valve is now open. Put it back in comfort. It's, ah, because the RPMs, that's why. So the valve is open because the idle is down. Put it in Sport Plus, the RPMs go up, which means that the valve closes. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's give it some gas. Okay, probably not enough to open up the valve. bit because I gave it some gas and the as you can see the light is on let's turn that off and see if it opens up it still opens up a little 
bit. Let's put it on comfort. Ooh, I almost hit a possum. I'm at a stop here. The valve is open because of the bolts. Let's put it in Sport Plus to close it. You can see it closes. Voltage goes down. Now, how do we get it to stay open? Can we disconnect something to get it to stay open? Try disconnecting one connection here and see if it dis see if it opens. Yes, it did. Okay, it looks like I have manual control. of the exhaust valve. So now I know where to put my switch. Alright, more information to come soon. This is cool.